Charles Steyer, this is CherryValleyMusic.com and we're here to talk about bar chords. Bar chords part one, those vicious demons that have plagued a lot of people. For those of you historians out there and perhaps paleontologists, look what I found this morning. It's my ancient capo from when dinosaurs ruled the earth. I haven't used this thing since forever. And when I tried to put it on this morning, the actual little strap on the back broke and I just howled laughing. You see this capo? Get rid of it, get rid of it. All it will do is have you up on the neck playing the same old chords, fooling around with that thing and having to retune. Let's grow up, time to play all the chords. First, let's talk about what bar chord means. Bar, spelled B-A-R-R-E, is from the French, pronounced bar, meaning bar. And what that is... <laughs> That's true, kids, that's true. So what a bar chord is, is really, as we all know, this part of the guitar is called the nut. And as we play open chords like an E or a G, the strings vibrate the holdings of the guitar down to the nut. In a bar chord, generally, usually our first finger, looking quite like a bar, presses over all the strings, in a, in a certain sense, taking the place of the nut as we move higher and higher on the neck. So a bar chord, in essence, if you're playing an E major, if you move up one fret with the same position of an E, and then your first finger here, replacing the nut as the bar, you can now play an F chord, an F sharp chord, a G chord, an A flat chord, because every fret on the guitar represents what's called a chromatic half step, as if on the piano you played every single note, black key to white key to black key. Now, why do we need these? We need these because in music we have 24 major and minor keys that we can play in. 12 major, 12 minor. On the guitar, the way it's built, if you're here and only playing bar chords and you're trying to play the three most important chords in every key, a one chord like a D chord, a G chord, and an A chord, if all you're doing is playing bar chords, you can effectively play in D major, you can play in D minor. Well, no, you can't play in D minor because you need a G minor bar chord. So we're back to D major. You can play in G major, but you sure can't play in G minor. You can play in E major. Oh wait, only if you play a B7. So what I'm trying to show you is that with only with open chords, you are stuck. You are limited to maybe only four to six keys out of the 24 keys and types of chords that we can use throughout all of music. So even though we all start to learn guitar on open positions, you got to get over it. You got to get yourself into bar chords because that's where the vast majority of music lives is up here on the neck. And in being able to play many, many, many different kinds of chords that are not available just in playing open chords. Let's talk about what it's seriously going to take to be able to play bar chords. In other videos in this uh, series, you'll find lessons about calluses for the fingertips, for the inside of the fingers, what's going to, what we're going to need physically to be able to play that. The other thing is we're going to need perfect, absolutely perfect hand position. You can find that as well in other exercises. And then we're also going to need to do the stretching exercises that you can find in what's called yoga for the hand uh, in another part of this series. So that's it for the introduction about how to play bar chords. I hope this really gives you the inspiration and the courage to start. I'm Charles Steyer. This is CherryValleyMusic.com. See you for part two.